Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel and in this final part on how we are trying to create these minor sounding chord progressions, we are going to actually take a little tangent away from the minor tonality which is generally considered gloomy and uh, a bit more sorrowful uh, to something which is very brave and epic hopefully right so let's get cracking right away the whole purpose here being we need to end on that d minor which is the minor tonic earlier we learned g minor a major d minor right g minor a major d minor so ultimately all roads are leading to the minor tonic but if you want to create it like a you know long and winding road kind of effect as we say instead of that a major tonality you can play a a minor tonality so then it's like three minor chords right it has to be sad it's like you're you know moving on a, a, a desert searching for water and you, it's like you're about to pass out or something so it gives you that long journey difficult road kind of effect or that ain't no sunshine when she's gone kind of effect so you go right there's no hope here this is very gloomy what did we do there g minor which is the 4 minor still the predominant a minor which i am playing i'm not playing that that more dominant chord or that major a a i'm doing a minor and back to d just get the hang of that you can even do minor sevens of all these right now you could groove with this but generally it's it's on the more sadder variety now this lesson is about creating a brave sound right so generally when i think of something brave i'm always looking at maybe the weaker force or the weaker uh, group or troop or army which is trying to kind of you know get their act together and somehow defeat the more stronger people right so it's always from the perspective of the weaker team or the weaker group but then eventually you want to see them win the battle or win the, the the game and then you feel like awesome right because yeah that that's generally bravery you're trying to going against all odds and overcoming your uh, your goal so to create that vibe i'll just give you a few options okay ta ra 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 de 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 what did i do there instead of doing da 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 de 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 i can do something like replacing the g minor with a more positive chord that's f major da 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 de de da 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 so instead of g a minor and d minor which are like very mournful i'm going with some hope da 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 f major right and to give it even more hope you can replace that second a minor by a c major Ta-da-da. so two major chords and then ending with a minor Use a lot in rock, right? You could even start with the minor D minor and loop it as a four chord progression. D minor, ta da, ta da, na 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 na. Ta na 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 na
na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na na that's the a minor that's a struggle which you haven't forgotten ta na 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 or the more hopeful option or the braver na 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 I can imagine a few rock songs using this chord progression, right? Um yeah, so you could play around with all of those opportunities. You can do G minor C D D D. So that C major adds that element of bravery or that element of hope. You need not or don't have to play the A chord as A major because that immediately kind of gives you that earlier vibe which we were going for. So the second chord or the middle chord or the dominant chord if you will can either be C major or A minor both work really great so G minor but the first chord could either be G minor or add even more hope by playing F major there ta ra ra na 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 ta ra 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 ta ra ra start with f with that ta na 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 and if you want to make it even more epic if you will you can start with b flat ta na 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 start with b flat na 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 If you want to end gloomy, you know, depending on your story which you're trying to uh, imagine. Okay, so the epic option could be B flat. So if you take the key of D minor, you'll find that all your minor intervals, F major. B flat major and C major. A great trick to remember this by is in a minor scale, all your minor intervals, that's the flat three, the flat six, and the flat seven, are all going to be major chords. Okay, I repeat, in a minor scale, the flat three will be F major, the flat six will be B flat major, and the flat seven will be C major. So it's quite a cool observation, you know. Come to think of it, the flat three, flat six, flat seven, which you make minor, the major versions of that exist in that scale itself, and that's what gives you that brave or that hopeful or that epic sound. So there's a lot of hope and bravery and an epic vibe from within a minor scale, you know, which you may not get when you're playing on major. Okay, so I'm just gonna jam on some of these possibilities again and uh, maybe explain you as I go along or just hum some random stuff and uh, hopefully you get a taste of what we're trying to achieve. It's a three chord sequence or a basic four chord sequence. You're trying to end on that minor tonality, the minor tonic but all the chords before that we are changing it but still serving the same purpose which is a predominant kind of pulling to the dominant which is the middle chord and then the dominant pulling to the tonic that's pretty much what we've discussed or discovered in this entire lesson series okay so let's see how it works with just some uh, random explorations you go what did i do there f c d F major, C major, D minor. Maybe replace the C with A minor. You can go all out sad, gloomy. Na 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 oh epic na 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 na
quite like that tune to bring in those three major chords b flat f c da 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 d minor at least two of them so we've moved from something very melancholic you know and very mystical to something more brave hopeful and which you could theoretically use in like a pop rock song come to think of it why does pop music just have to have that same 1 5 6 4 chord progression i'm sure you've heard a lot about it and watched a lot of videos on that sort of a thing right where almost every pop uh, song is on that chord progression so hopefully this lesson series has taught you a few things about expanding your knowledge of chord progressions also serving a minor bass or a minor tonality because a lot of our themes are based on you know human thoughts and human emotions and human experiences so uh, these are very much human themes and human experiences which we go through daily or the minor progression or the minor uh, chords or this this progression or this tonality can also be used for a little bit you know chaotic stuff or dystopian stuff or unreal stuff you know things which don't even exist on planet earth which you're trying to imagine so it's a very artistic thing it's a very it could even be a very romantic thing you know it could be a very realistic kind of thing talking about what life is all about at the end of the day right so i hope this lesson series was useful and you can use it in your music and your compositions and in your piano practice again this is jason here from the nathaniel school of music don't forget to like share subscribe to our channel if you haven't already leave us a comment for things you'd like us to teach you further um we are planning to do a lot more at the music school so do keep us <clears throat> in the loop with what you'd like to learn as well and there are handwritten notes for this entire lesson series as well as whatever we discuss and any topics which we will ever do so head over to patreon for about 5 bucks you'll be able to get all my handwritten notes for everything which has ever been done from the beginning of time cheers